What's going on, Cougar fans? Peter Borkowski here on the Cougar Sports Network, bringing you this edition of Coaches Weekly. And once again, I'm joined by head coach of CUC Women's Soccer, Coach Garza. Welcome back to the show. Excited to talk to you today. I'm excited to be here. Well, conference play opened up yesterday. You guys welcomed the Rockford to River Forest, and Cougars pulling out their first win of the season. Now 1-0 and in conference play, a 2-1 victory over the region. So let's just start with the general attitude around the team right now. I mean, how is that locker room? How do the players feel? Not only do they have their first win off the belt, they also have their first win in conference play, now 1-0. and Just what's kind of the general vibe around the team? Yeah, there's a lot of positive energy. The team has been working hard, and although our record wasn't showing it, we saw uh, a lot of improvement throughout the, the non-conference period. And going into this game, there was a little bit of nerves and anxiety, mm -hmm. but I think they, they remain confident and they trust in their ability. And with any conference game, it's going to be difficult to, uh, especially the first one, to like, you know, show up and give your best version. But mm -hmm. at, at this stage, it's, you know, to leave with the, the max amount of points, and we did. Right, and the offense coming alive, scoring two goals. You guys previously hadn't scored a goal yet that season. You got two very crucial ones yesterday, including one with just over two minutes left to go in the game from Juliana Paulson. That was the game winner. A lot of emotion surrounding that goal. But what were the main improvements you saw from the offense in yesterday's game that led them to scoring those two goals and kind of turning the offensive look, look, um, outlook around in that game? Yeah, so those goals literally come from what we've been training all year. Uh, the, the following through, the execution, and uh, you know, trusting the process and the style of play that we're looking to play. So from the first goal, the buildup was really good, and Lucia had a great uh, cross and assist, found a huge uh, passing lane, and uh, found Valeria on the uh, left side and mm -hmm. you know she made the most of her finish we've had a lot of, of those opportunities in other games where we shoot it a little bit wide hits the crossbar and yesterday we got it on frame and you know we got to celebrate our first goal right the second goal is you know when Rockford tied it they found an extra gear mm -hmm. and again ex executing the things that be, we've been working on Jamie plays a great ball in behind uh, Denise and uh, Juliana had committed to their runs and we saw what happens when you give your best efforts and right. we were able to find you know squeak the final goal in for that win right and let's talk about the defense a little you guys only allowed two shots on goal making Brooke Sheriff's life very easy as she got her first start of the season yesterday and we've seen it really during your whole tenure as head coach that this is a very complete defense they do not give up a lot of shots on goal they do not give up a lot of quality chances so what's really the driving force behind that defense what makes this defense so hard to beat for other teams what are you pushing on your defenders that make it such a complete defensive unit yeah, this game, 90% of the, the game is played without the ball. Mm -hmm. So when you don't have the ball, you, you're, if you can limit your mistakes, naturally you can be more organized and more, uh, uh, more drawing a blank here, <laughs> more organized so that the, the team can, um, you know, limit the opportunities the other team is right. having. So uh, the team understands our defensive system and uh, the foundation. And again, with execution is, the, and they have the understanding, they they limit those opportunities, mm -hmm. which, you know, we're fine giving up a lot of shots if they're, you know, not great opportunities. Definitely. And let's talk about Brooke Sheriff a little bit. She got her first start of the year yesterday. She's had plenty of playing time, though, so it wasn't the first time we've seen her. And as usual, she looked good in that one goal allowed, one save, but also made those plays that don't show up on the stat sheet, coming out of the box to grab a ball, coming out and, you know, aggressively to grab a ball before a striker can get there. So, just, I'm sure as head coach, it's really nice to have not just one, but two goalies you can really trust between Brooke, who we saw yesterday, and then Alani, who we've been seeing throughout the rest of the season. Yeah, uh, I, I believe I said this in a previous Coaching Weekly. I, I, the, the goalkeeping position, I'm very fortunate to have you know two quality goalkeepers. They mm -hmm. both uh, have their strengths and have differences that you know can complement the team. Yesterday, uh, Brooks stepped up to the opportunity and, and contributed to our success. You know, uh, although she only faced two shots, um, she also eliminated any other opportunities from developing. Right. And right now, they're both competing, and uh, the goal is to c carry the momentum that they have. They have given up some goals, but I don't think any of the goals have been like all uh, their. 
again, when you when you give up a goal, you think it's the goalkeeper's fault, mm -hmm. you know, naturally. But in reality, I'd say a lot of them are. There's a lot of layers to it. Right. You know, the goalies are trying their best in those moments, and you know, like any game, you're gonna give up some goals. Definitely. But, and looking ahead to this weekend, you got a lot of action coming up. On Saturday, you have your next conference game when you welcome Lakeland to River Forest. And you turn around and play again at Concordia on Sunday with a non-con, your last of the season, against Lake Forest. So what are you wanting to see out of this weekend? You have a back-to-back, -back, one conference, one non-conference. Just how are you kind of preparing to handle this weekend? What's going to be a successful weekend other than hopefully getting two more wins? A successful weekend to me is getting out with any with no injuries. Right. <laughs> but uh, I, uh, Saturday, because it's just our next matchup, it takes priority. It's a conference mm -hmm. game. Lakeland is looking for their first win of the season. Okay. Um, they and we have to be ready to defend our home turf and you know max out the points that are available. So the goal is to get three points. And then after Saturday, I think it, uh, Lake Forest is a good opportunity for players that haven't seen the field to get some minutes okay. because of rotation. So that's mm -hmm. how we're gonna balance that, but also to prepare us for the following week where we're, we'll uh, meet, uh, you know, we start to meet, you know. More conference uh, teams. Yes, right. so I think it, uh, I strategically did that so that, you know, we we have an opportunity to, to evaluate players Final again. Final tune-up before yep. conference really begins. Well, this weekend starts for women's soccer on Saturday at 1 p.m. when Lakeland travels to River Forest. Coverage for that game can be found at our website, cucougars.com. The live stream on our YouTube page, CUC Sports. Coach Garza, thanks again for joining me. Congrats on the first conference win yesterday, and good luck this upcoming weekend. Looking forward to talking to you again when we have a chance next week. But until then, this is Peter Borkowski signing off of the Cougar Sports Network and wanting to say, as always, go Cougars!